Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for another Silhouette Basics video. In today's video we're going to go over how to open shapes that you've purchased from the Silhouette online store, how to resize them to the appropriate size, and how to send them to your Silhouette machine to cut out. So your machine comes with a bunch of shapes that you've already, that are associated with each respective silhouette. But if you don't have a shape that you like, you can click on the little S on the left hand side and it will open the silhouette library. And from there, you'll be able to browse the different shapes that are available. Now this geometric leaf shape is actually the free shape of the week. So if you check out with this one or whatever the free shape is, you'll be able to check out without purchasing anything. It'll say your balance is zero, zero. And the free design of the week is on the home page here. So I've already downloaded this particular image. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my library. And as you can see, I've already started typing the word geometric. So if I take this out, you can see all of the shapes that I have in my library are here. And as I start typing the word geometric, the items in my library start to get smaller and smaller to the things that only contain the letters GEO. So I'm gonna double click this leaf and it's going to appear on my cutting mat rather large. Now to resize this, I have two options. The first is I can take the handles on the side and drag back and forth and it will reshape it and resize it proportionally. Or if I have exact measurements, I can go up to the top right hand corner and go to the scale option and I can type the size in that I need. So if I know for, for certain that I need it to be eight inches wide, I can type the number eight and then click apply and it will scale it up so that the width is eight inches. You can also do that with the height as well. Now this button here that says lock aspect ratio or lock aspect ensures that your image doesn't get skewed. So if I was to uncheck this and then check nine, or excuse me, change this number to nine and hit enter, it would get wider, but it wouldn't get taller. So it starts to warp a little bit. So whether or not you lock the aspect or not is completely up to you. Once you have the image sized to what you need for your project, you're gonna go ahead and go to the cut settings and you're going to select your material. The machine that I have plugged in is a Cameo 3, so I have two actual cutting tools available to me. Now, that is something that we'll discuss more in future videos. Well, we may not because that's beyond basic, but tool one is what I'm using. That's the tool on the left-hand side, and I'm going to cut playing cardstock. So now I can go ahead and click Send to Silhouette, and this item will cut out. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.